Okay, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me again here at Audrey's Reading Area. I have a very special book that I'm going to read to you today. It's called The Boy Who Never Gave Up, Stephen Curry, the children's book. It is written by Anthony Curcio. Anthony Curcio, The Boy Who Never Gave Up, Stephen Curry. After dinner one night, a boy sat down to do his homework. He just sat there, staring at the table, daydreaming. Mom, do you think I could play in the NBA like Dad? The boy's mother looked at him with a smile and said, If you practice enough, I think anything is possible. But for now, you need to finish your homework. When the boy finished his homework, where did he go? He went outside and did what he always did. He played basketball. The boy played other sports too, but he loved basketball. Basketball was the only sport that really made him dream. The small boy dreamed of one day playing in the NBA. Starting at guard number 30, Stephen Curry. Yay. Ooh. Ah. Stephen yelled in his best crowd screaming voice. The problem was Stephen was too small and too short. All the kids at school just knew that he was too little for the NBA, except for Stephen, of course. One day... I'm going to play in the NBA just like my dad. Ha, 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 ha. All the other kids laughed at him. All the other kids at the school laughed at him. Isn't that something else? There is no way that you'll play in the NBA like your dad. He's big and strong and you're small and weak. They laughed at him. Despite his size, little Stefan kept playing. He became very skilled at dribbling and passing. But because the hoop was so high and he was so short, it was difficult for Stefan to, to shoot the ball when he was guarded so closely. He was only 5'6 tall and 125 pounds as a sophomore in high school. Because he was smaller, Stefan had to work harder and he had to practice more. See, that just means you have to, if you want something real bad, you practice harder. One day, Stefan's dad was watching him shoot baskets outside. He noticed how hard Stefan tried to always get better. Son, you have more heart and determination than any other player I've seen. I know you are smaller than other players, so I want to teach you something that will help. So now his dad is jumping in to help him. The other kids may be taller, but if you bring up your shot and learn to shoot faster, they won't be able to stop you. Stefan did what he always did. He practiced. It wasn't easy changing the way he shot, but he kept working every day on what his dad had taught him. Although it wasn't work to Stefan because he loved basketball. When he practiced, he still dreamed of playing in the NBA. Starting at guard, number 30, Stephen Curry. The following year, all of his hard work showed on the court. His dad was right. The other players weren't able to stop him. Stephen led his high school team to three conference titles, earning himself several honors, including being voted one of the best players in the state. Wow. From practice. You want to do something? You practice. Stefan graduated from high school and was thinking about where he wanted to go to college. He only wanted to go to one school, Virginia Tech, where his dad had played. Stefan knew he could play there too. All he needed was for them to give him a chance. But they didn't. Virginia Tech and many other schools didn't think Stefan could play on their teams. They thought he was just too small and not strong enough. 
except for one coach at a very small college. His name was Bob, and he was the coach at Davidson College. Coach Bob saw what no one else could see. Wait until you see Stephen Curry, he told everyone. Just you wait. Stephen Curry could not be stopped. He led his team to victory over schools that were 10 times the size of Davidson College, all the way to the Elite Eight. Coach Bob was right. Wait until you see Stephen play. Stephen broke many records and won several awards. He even led the entire country in points scored per game. People who watched Stephen play in college started to see what Coach Bob had seen all along. Many were beginning to believe what Stephen had always believed about himself. But there were still so many people that said Stephen was just too small to play in the NBA. They said he got lucky, that he wasn't strong enough, that he wasn't good enough. They just kept talking and talking. What did you say? I can't hear you. I still can't hear you. But Stephen didn't listen. Good thing. He was too busy winning the NBA's Most Valuable Player Award twice, leading the league in scoring and steals, taking his team to NBA championships, and pretty much breaking every three-point record that had ever existed. Stephen was told he was too short in high school, too weak in college, and not good enough to play in the NBA. He had proven that never giving up is more important than being the biggest, the tallest, or even the strongest. But most importantly, Stephen Curry has proven that dreams come true. So never give up. Never give up. This was the boy that, who never gave up. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. And I'll see you again tomorrow.